What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is OnePlus has announced their brand new phone, officially the OnePlus 7T. And it's kind of a budget phone, mid-tier phone, whatever you want to call it. It's $599. This is what it looks like. So it kind of has a similar design to the OnePlus 6T where it has that teardrop camera on the front. But in the back, it looks similar, if I remember correctly, to the OnePlus 7 Pro. And it's got very, very decent specs with it. So the specs on it are a Snapdragon 855 Plus, so the very newest Snapdragon processor, 6.55 1080p Plus, 90 hertz AMOLED display, eight gigs of RAM, 128 to, uh, or 256 gigabytes UFS 3.0 storage, has three cameras, Android 10, Bluetooth 5.0, uh, and again, it starts at uh, 599 bucks, and it comes in frosted silver and glacier blue. Now, if you wanna pick it up, it is linked down below. Sales start October 18th. And the last story of the day is about the Samsung Galaxy Fold. As you know, it goes on sale tomorrow here in the US, which is gonna be Friday, and it looks like some of the people that already have it, like the reviewers of these big you know, tech websites and tech YouTubers, um, one in particular, Brian Heater from TechCrunch is already having issues. So basically, he had it in his pocket and he took it out and he noticed this like colorful orb in the middle of the screen and he cannot remove it at all. So it's kind of a pain in the butt with what happened and it could be a defect in manufacturing, it could be something that just ultimately got in the display. But whatever it is, it definitely sucks. And it's something that you should be concerned with if this is gonna be your daily phone, you might not be able to trust it. And the more I see about this phone, the more worried I get about actually having to, you know, maybe purchase this. And it's such a huge expense. I don't know if he's gonna end up having to pay for this or not, he probably won't. They did get theirs for free and it comes into the play that is probably more of a defect rather than something he did. I don't, regardless though, it's very scary. And that's my question for you guys today. Even if you're not buying this phone, would you be concerned by just the amount of how fragile it is and, and maybe defects and it's a first generation product and it's completely new? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. See you guys down the road. Peace.